Hey guys, this is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Season 8, Alpha 8, and this is Episode 2. And I'm just up here on my roof in Coronado, and I've done some inventory management. Broken down a lot of things. Um, just as a little heads up, I did up the loot rate to 150%, and I did loot up here uh, off video, and the loot was much better. So I think uh, 150% is going to work for me just fine. These are the things I'm going to be leaving behind. And you guys have really left a lot of comments on my video. Uh, you guys really seem to like it. You've got a lot of things, a lot of ideas of what, what you want me to do. The consensus is that you at least want me to stay in the sawmill for one night. Uh, some pe uh, One or two people said build there. Uh, most people said loot it. And a few people said stay there overnight. Um, as a matter of fact, one of my new subscribers, uh, Gaming in the Dark, said I just subscribed. And I hope you spend a night at the sawmill. Well, g Gaming in the Dark, I'm going to spend a night at the sawmill just for you, buddy. Thanks for subbing and I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, the rest of you guys seemed like everybody wanted me to go to the sawmill. Um, I don't want to build in, in the, uh, the, the uh, snow biome just because it's kind of... Off to the side. I like being more towards the middle of the map so I can get to places quicker. But um, I will go to the sawmill. I will loot it up and I will spend the night there. And it actually works out pretty well because my house is right is going to be right around here. What I'll do is I will hit my house, drop everything off, go to the sawmill with fresh inventory, loot it up, and spend the night there. Um, oh boy, yeah, I, I'm quite excited. I've never looted up the sawmill before. I've been there once and it seemed pretty crazy. But uh, yeah. A lot of you also said that you think that I should fortify the cabin instead of building a new one. And, uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. I will fortify the cabin. Uh, one of my longtime subscribers, Jeff Moore, uh, comments a lot of my videos. He said, get right to a cage, build a too high wall around the cabin with a little post overhang to stop climbers. Nice and fairly real. Okay, well, that sounds like a good plan, Jeff Moore, and I'm going to do that. Uh, definitely going to do that. It sounds like a, a good idea. On a little side note, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, one of my good buddies on YouTube, Fat Planet LP, uh, also plays Seven Days to Die. He's been doing his role-playing thing recently, but he has actually gotten back to a uh, survival server. So you guys need to go check him out, Fat Planet LP. Uh, he does really good stuff, and uh, you know he started doing uh, survival again. So it's a reason to be excited. Okay. By the way, I think I figured out how to make uh, penicillin. Not penicillin, antibiotics. I believe you make it with the moldy bread and I think potassium nitrate. I'm not really sure. I saw someone doing it in a video and the thing that they were using looked like potassium nitrate, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, it seems like kind of a weird thing to make antibiotics with, but hey, I'm not a doctor. What do I know? A little side note, I did make a crossbow. I made a bunch of metal strips and I repaired most of my tools. Actually, let's repair this stone axe up a little bit more. Oh, okay, you can't repair the stone axe with that. Okay, interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. Whatever. You know what? I shouldn't repair the stone axe anyway. Oh, repair items are small stone. There you go. It says right on the bottom. Cage. All right, let's get on out of here. So I am just going to run out of this building and uh, just haul you know what. And uh, first things first, got to get out of here. So. All right. So we are going to be heading down Coronado. We just got to head due east, really. So I don't know if they fix your structural integrity. This uh, These houses look pretty torn up. Um, for those of you who didn't watch the last video, first of all, what's wrong with you? Go watch episode one. Second of all, um, when I got into Coronado, I had some structural integrity problems. Um, a little parts on the floor were falling out. Uh, it didn't seem like a really big problem, but uh, there, were, there were here and there some blocks that would fall uh, with structural integrity. Um, for those of you who've been watching my Seven Days to Die videos for a while, there was one update. I forget what update, but I, I came into Coronado and the buildings literally almost fell apart. It was it was pretty crazy, but um, I was worried about that. But it doesn't seem to be an issue. All right, let's go. Really like to loot house grab, but I'm not gonna have time. Uh, there's only so much time in the day to loot, so I just gotta hit what I can when I can. Actually, that probably wasn't even worth looting the gunpowder. It's just taking up valuable space. I find that sprinting has been... Oh, there we go. Much better loot there. I feel that sprinting uh, kind of goes on and off. I'm, I'm, I might just be running into bushes. But um, you know what? I should loot up these yellow flowers as well. Take it easy there, zombie. Don't get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> get it? Anyway. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take the red flowers. Uh, I probably should take some stones. 
because um, I need to make crossbow bolts. And uh, oh boy, that's what I'm talking about. That's loot. Okay, so let's let's read up these books. Um, this one is pistol. So now I can make the pistol. Another pistol book. So that's useless. Uh, what is this? Urban combat. What's that? Urban combat. Shotgun. Okay, I can now make a shotgun. Okay. And I believe this is SMG schematics. It's kind of weird how the SMG schematics look so different. Well, they look the same in your hand, so... Interesting. Okay. Um, the loot seems to be a big jump from what it was before, but, you know, I'd rather have too much loot than not enough, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We also have to start keeping an eye out for, um, airdrops, because I really haven't been. Um, for all I know, there w there were airdrops, but I'm gonna be... I'm gonna listen for the airdrops, because, uh, I need to know. Books, books, okay. I'm trying to only take stuff that stacks. I don't have any paper. Alright, we gotta be care we gotta be quiet here guys. I wanna get as many as least amount of zombies as possible here. Let's go ahead and make the brass. That's all the brass we can make. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. I'm not gonna use the hunting rifle, let's just turn that into iron. Ah, oh, I got spotted. I'm only gonna take what's what's necessary because I'm not even staying here. This is a uh, this is Husker Ave, for those of you that don't know, a uh, wonderful Husker Ave. I kind of I like Husker Ave. I um I built here one year or one year one season. Um, pretty fun place to build, but it crawls, man. There is zombies everywhere. Uh, no. Okay, the loot abundance has been fixed. As a matter of fact, it might be a little on the high side now, but I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, okay, there's what we need, the pickaxe. Um, okay, we got to we gotta take care of some stuff here. Let me do some inventory management. I'll be back when it's done. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the uh, inventory management is really hard to do on video and keep it entertaining. So sometimes even in the middle of, a, in the middle of running around, I might just pause the video because, you know, it's just, it's really difficult. Like, like right now, like, what am I supposed to do here? Well, I could probably eat. That's one thing I could do. All right, eat, eat, eat. One thing, one thing that you could do that's better is instead of cycling through your stuff like this, you should really just hit the button you want. Because you, you could see right there, sometimes it'll cycle through an extra item and take, uh, take more time unnecessarily. So you really want to just kind of, you really just kind of want to pick the item you want. Um, makes things a little bit easier. All right, so we are going along right now. We're we're out of Husker Ave, and uh, we're out, these garbage things are ridiculously packed. Um, we got to get rid of something here. I really don't want to get rid of anything. Hmm, cloth. No, we can't get rid of the cloth. I could turn some stuff into iron, but I'm, you know, mm. get rid of the flowers. The flowers are nice, but, uh, you know, not a 100% necessity right now. Now we get rid of something else for these. Uh, yeah, you know what? I really can't get rid of anything here. This is all pretty much necessary. I'll get rid of the, the lead, just because I'm, I'm going to need lead eventually but I don't need it right now and there's a gas station I'm passing um, I gotta remember to hit this gas station up again for sure uh, I'm not gonna bother now because first of all it crawls and second of all uh, you know I got a place to be I gotta go to the sawmill like my subs told me to so oh my goodness look at this well oh, Jesus what am I gonna do here I'm gonna like what am I I can't even do anything here. I just gotta go. I gotta leave it. I have a feeling that uh, turning it up to 150% might have, like... I think it's pretty imbalanced right now, but... Uh, between this video and next, maybe I'll turn it back down to 100% because... I don't know. Maybe they patched it? Did they patch it? I don't even know. 
because this is getting this is crazy I mean I like the abundance of loot but I mean I don't need to be that crazy all right we gotta hurry up I know it's still early in the day but we have a, we have a long ways to go I love the smooth terrain man like uh, when they said smooth terrain I was all like yeah whatever who cares you know I mean it's nice but I'm not like oh my god smooth terrain well now I'm like oh my god smooth terrain this is uh it's pretty good looking stuff right here actually we could take that too see the main thing we have right now that we need is iron nothing is more important it's our lifeblood it's what we need and it's it's number one priority uh well the food and uh, water the, the, the food and uh, water as well but you know that'll be easy enough to get Ooh, we need beakers I have a feeling beakers won't be a problem. Okay, it's gonna be a lot easier to loot once we drop everything off. I'm just gonna hit this hit this shed over here. I'm gonna make my own uh, my own storage crate. Uh, now I'm not sure how the loot respawn works. People say you have to loot stuff. From what I understand, you have to loot an item and then wait seven days for that item to uh, respawn its loot. Uh, but the thing is, like, I've also been told that if you have loot in a place, uh, the loot in, and the seven, like, if you have loot in an item, and the seven days goes by, you'll lose what was in that item. Like, uh, like if I put, you know, stuff in, like, oh boy. I don't want to make too much noise here, because I don't need to be spawning more zombies. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna turn the loot back down to 100% and see, see what it does. Cause this is a bit, this is a bit much. Can I walk up there? No, kind of. The clipping issue becomes a problem sometimes, and it becomes quite dangerous. But uh, we've cleared this out, so I don't know what that I don't know what the deal is in the middle of this. But uh, anyway, I'm going to store my stuff up here, and uh, I'm just going to put just enough stuff up here so I can make myself my own chest. Now, again, I don't think that storing stuff in an already set up chest will be a problem, but you know, just in case, um, it doesn't hurt to make my own. Plus, when you make your own, they're bigger. And we are just going to, like, I mean, like, I'm just going to, well, we are going to stay up there. So I'll keep my tools. And I'm just going to drop everything else off. I'll keep my ammo. Actually, before we do that, let's just do this. Let's turn everything. You know what? I'm going to do this inventory management. and be, uh, I'm going to cut this part out, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not done with the inventory management yet, but um, I just heard an airdrop. So let's come out here and see where it is. I don't see anything. Crap, I don't see anything. And there's a horde, a roaming horde. Where's that airdrop? Oh man, I don't see it. There it is. And there's a roaming horde right in between me and the airdrop, but that's not a problem. I'm going to be able to get around them. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get to the sawmill today. Um, actually, I'll probably get to the sawmill today. Maybe I'll just get to the sawmill, then uh, spend the night there, and then the next morning loot it, and then get back uh, to start setting up my base. But there was a roaming horde there, although it doesn't look like it's moving, so I'm not sure, but it seemed like a roaming horde. There it is. Pretty far. Now, I don't know if I should go for the other ones. They usually drop them off in a line, but the thing is, I don't know which direction the plane was going in. Um, where is it? I'm afraid I'm going to see it on video, but not see it myself. And then you guys are going to be like, Cage, it's right there! You know? These really need to show up on the map. Because sometimes they get stuck in trees as well. Yeah, I don't, ugh, I don't know where this thing is. 
I okay, I'm gonna have to apologize, guys, because I know you're probably pointing out to me exactly where this thing is, and I'm just not seeing it. So I'm just gonna say right now uh, ahead of time because I don't think I'm gonna find it. I'm sorry. I know you know where it is. I know I'm derping here, and I'm just gonna apologize. So, um, yeah, I don't. Could it be in a tree? See, because when you used to play on horde mode, these things would get stuck in trees. And I'm not sure how long I want to spend over here looking for this thing, because i got stuff to do. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I know you guys probably know where it is. I know I'm missing it. I've probably looked at it a few times, but I'm just not seeing it on the screen. So I'm going to have to apologize and uh, bail on it. And, uh, you know, type your angry uh, comments if you must, but I just, I don't see it. Um, yeah, it's kind of frustrating. They really should show up on the map. Alright, let's get back home. Man, what a shame. At least you don't lose, uh... At least I'm not losing stamina while sprinting. That's pretty nice. Pick some flowers on the way back, because why not? Alright. Let me get back home and finish inventory management. When I'm done, I will head up, up to the sawmill. Okay, I've cleared up my inventory quite a bit. Let's head on up to the sawmill. And uh, I'm not going to have an easy way to defend myself in the sawmill. So I believe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the stealth game and just, uh, you know, try not to get spotted. And um, I'm going to continue picking up these yellow flowers because uh, apparently these yellow flowers make really nice tea. I don't know if I ever made any in my last season's video. I, I thought I planned on making this stuff, but I don't remember if I did. And uh, I think this stuff's supposed to be better than water or something. I don't know. We'll see. And there it is, guys, the snow biome. Ooh, cold already. All right, let's uh, see where we are here. Okay, we're heading right for what I believe is the sawmill. Um, I kind of hope it is. <laughs> uh, that that airdrop was disappointing. Um, I'm just so paranoid. Like I was looking right at right at it, and I just didn't see it. Uh, I just, mm. I'm gonna have to start like getting better at like like following those things. You gotta pay attention, you know. It was, it was like that in Rust as well. I don't know if many of you guys ever watch my Rust videos, but there was airdrops in Rust, and it was just like that, man. You just kind of see them off in the distance, and you, you go to get them, and then, you know, next thing you know, they're just gone. Do I want to loot all that? Sure. Who knows? We might need it. And if worse comes to worse, I can always throw some of it away or just eat it or whatever. Yeah, I haven't, I, uh, I've only been in the snow biome once or twice. And, um, you know, I really didn't like it. I didn't have a good time. It is, the zombies here are actually really tough. Uh, but that wasn't why I didn't have a good time. I just uh, The buildings up here just weren't like overly interesting. I mean, I, don't know, I guess they were somewhat interesting. Maybe I didn't... Maybe I haven't given enough of a chance. The real problem with the snow biome, though, and I mentioned it before at the beginning of the video, is uh, it's really out in the middle. Of, it's really out in the middle of nowhere, um, which kind of makes it hard to get to other biomes and loot up places. That's why I always like to settle near Dyersville. I mean, if I could live in Dyersville, I would. But um, it's just so many zombies there, which is pretty cool because, you know, in, re in reality, there would be a lot of zombies in Dyersville. Uh so let me uh, break some of these stones while I'm here. I mean, because we got some time, and uh, I'm gonna get to the, I'm gonna get to the, uh, to the, um, the sawmill in plenty of time. And what I want to do is, uh, what I want to do is, um, I'm gonna stay there overnight, and then I'll loot it up the next morning, and then head home, because uh, I'm not gonna be in a hurry to loot it up. Which means I actually won't. I probably won't loot it till next video, which. Kind of sucks. I kind of promised I'd go to the snow, snow biome. Well, I promised I would go to the sawmill. I didn't. I didn't guarantee I'd be able to loot it yet. But you know, that's kind of not fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'll definitely loot it next video for sure. Actually, I could loot some of it now. We still got time. 
And I definitely got to turn down loot abundance. But if I turn down loot abundance and then the loot goes back to what it was before, then the hell with it. By the way, I don't think stamina affects your your uh, your weapon that much anymore because, like, if you look at my damage on my weapon, like, I think that it has something to do with stamina. Like, back in the day, if you had a little bit of stamina, you are, uh, your weapon wouldn't do as much damage, but it, it didn't reflect um, in your stamina, but it reflects now. Because if my stamina goes up, the damage on that item will go up. Like, watch, 96%, okay. Now I'll put my stamina all the way up. Now we're at 100%. And the, the, the durability on the weapon didn't change. So stamina directly affects the damage of your weapon, like it always has. But now you actually have a, a barometer for it. And we are just going to go ham on these sons of bitches. I messed that one up. Good, I was hoping to get more shotgun shells. Alright, so one thing we've got to, got to get here is these gas containers. Really important. Close this up. Yeah, I should loot those. I should also take these as well. I'm not going to, though. I'm sensed, but I don't think they know where I am. They know enough of where I am. Ugh, these guys are tough. And this gun needs repairing. Right, we can't get caught inside. They will always run inside no matter what. Oh look, blueberries. man see these these zombies up here are a lot tougher it's funny the way they walk well I guess it makes sense they're trotting through snow that's if you if you if anyone's ever walked through snow that's how you walk you bring your knees way up you got no choice Okay, now hopefully that'll be all the zombies here. We'll see. I don't need jars. I could use some jars. Actually, let's uh, maybe we can make some molds while we're here. Let's dig up some some dirt. Is that snow? Yeah, look at that one hit right through the snow. Is that all there is here? Snow? Oh, there's no dirt up here. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, so I did hit some dirt. Actually, uh... We could just... Well, let's just keep digging. Screw it. Come on. Now, what is that? Okay, so I got plenty of clay now. Did I pick up, uh... Snow? Yes, I did. I don't need snow. Okay, there we are. Do we need some wood? Um, yes, we do. Let's go ahead and grab some wood. Now, it doesn't make sense to take these logs because they don't fall. Get more wood doing this. Okay, I got some wood. All right, let's choose where we're going to stay for the night. And this is a pretty easy choice. I'm going to stay in that building right there. And um, as long as I get in there and nobody sees me, I should be good for the night. So let me uh, let me check this out. Okay, so they can just walk up here. Um, all right, how do I do this? 
All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take out these stairs. Uh, not all of them. Just enough so we can get up. And then uh, and then what I'll do is I'll take out the last one when I'm going up there for the night. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think as long as I'm quiet up there, it'll be fine. But it doesn't hurt to, you know, break up the stairs a little bit more. Let's eat while we're at it. And drink. I gotta get... What the hell is that? Mm, oh well. Eight. Break these until they're almost broken. Okay. Let's go and get some more wood. I actually forget wood. Let's just loot up. We should have enough wood. I don't, I don't see what we would need so much wood for, for, for the night. Alright, I do want to take that with me. Uh, let's eat. Good, I don't care about glass. Um, okay, we do want some blueberry pie put this back. I don't know if that blueberry pie is going to make a smell. Okay. Alright, so what else we got over here? Let's grab the rest of these gas cans. You know, you, you can now craft uh, gas, but with these gas cans, I might not need to. Oh boy. Uh, we'll leave that for tomorrow. Actually, what I'll do is I won't loot any cars until tomorrow. That way I'll know to hit all the cars when I come out. Oh, look at this place. Oh, can you pick these up? No, you gotta hit these. Now, this is where you get your iron from. Oh, excuse me. I actually have to pause the video and crazy sneeze. Alright, so I'm going to need to drop something here. I probably should have thought this out beforehand. Um, we have uh, pots back at camp, so not a big deal. Okay, so this should be worth a lot. Okay, the forging weight's only 48. So, I think these scrap metal blocks used to be a lot more. And now they're, they're almost nothing. So, they're not even worth it. Okay. Okay, so I've looted up just about everything. Let's uh Actually this might have been the best place to stay with the door. Oh okay, we'll come back and loot this tomorrow. There's a gun safe up there. I'm gonna have to do a lot of inventory management uh overnight. But yeah, well my I, my timer went off quite a while ago, so this has been a long video. Uh you know what? Let me get a Picture for the screenshot. Uh, snow biome, right? How about this? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to stop the video here because I'm just going to take a screenshot. And then I'm going to go up there and stay up there for the night. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for Episode 2. We'll see you next time for Episode 3. Till then, take it easy.